Heavy artillery strikes on eastern Ukraine have left the area on the brink of a humanitarian crisis. Activists say the water supply system in several cities in the region has been partially cut off. Tens of thousands of people have fled their homes and across the border with Russia, where temporary refugee camps have been set up. And even more are expected to come, as Paula Slea has been finding out. War does not differentiate between young and old, fighter and civilian. And so, as Kiev's purported anti-terror operation enters its fifth week, pictures like this are becoming all too common. This eight-month pregnant woman lost her mother when the house collapsed around them. Her grandmother is in hospital, and she only escaped by managing to hide in the basement. I don't know who was shooting. Bullets were flying everywhere. The roof collapsed and the whole house was destroyed. Arena's ready to go anywhere, so long as it's not here. She and her husband are the second family in less than 24 hours. This taxi driver is evacuating from Slavyansk. So, this is the situation in the city. Nobody knows what will happen in the future. They are letting us out, but they don't let us drive in the city. People are fleeing to anywhere they can from here. Many end up here, in a refugee camp in Rostov. These two women arrived from Lugansk, escaping without their husbands and parents. But with phone lines down, any relief has been dampened by fears of what might have happened to them. We were really afraid that we would just be killed on our way. But the self-defense units did everything to transport us across the border. We weren't stopped. It's amazing. We have foreigners here, but we have been warmly welcomed. How could they do this still? Ukraine is our home. More than 7,000 people, mostly women and children, are here, but tens of thousands more have been left behind. Most at risk are orphans living in unprotected buildings where supplies are running low. The main question now is to arrange a humanitarian corridor for civilians and children. We've been asking the current Ukrainian government, it doesn't matter who they are, to let us open a corridor. More and more people are fleeing from cities in eastern Ukraine as the Kiev military intensifies its operation. It comes as President Pyotr Poroshenko reportedly orders that the situation in the east be dealt with before his inauguration this Saturday, setting the scene for an even greater exodus. Paulus Slea, RT, Donetsk, eastern Ukraine.